I want to say as clearly as I can, with these six new members coming into the House in January, there will have never, ever been in the modern history of this country more strong progressives in Congress than there are, than there will be in January 23. This state and so many places in the South are not red states. We're just under organized states. We've been centering workers and we've been uh, connecting, as Greg said, thinking and really elevating how important it is to have a movement that is electoral, progressive movement that goes hand in hand with our labor movement. What is it that families need right now? They need help with um, child care. They need help with minimum wage increases, health care um, affordability. We have millions of poor and working class families just crying out for a better world that want to have a union that represents them, that wants to have health care, that want to live in a world free of gun violence. And I don't want to be an advocate for peace. I know that you have to practice peace. You have to be willing to fight for peace. I have the honor to be able to author a bill to expand Medicaid health care coverage to undocumented individuals, regardless of legal status, the first in the nation. Medicaid and Medicare were born here in Texas, signed into law by LBJ uh, from Texas, and if we're going to win Medicare for all, to expand that right to every single person, rich or poor, then we need to be winning from the South, from Texas. Let's continue to expand our numbers and expand the electorate and continue to win every single day. Just listening to these six people uh, really gives me um, an enormous amount of hope for the future of this country.